Colombo is windy, but we are in the windiest part of Liverpool. So. <laughs> it's always windy in the north, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I see you. I see you. I never copy how I have to behave or things that I do on the pitch. For sure, when you are 12, 14, 16, you see the skills, and I love to do that time, that skill thing. So it was Ronaldinho in the time, it was loads of great players that you want to imitate what they're doing with the ball. But then to transform that on the pitch is very difficult. He can do things with a football which ought to be illegal. Utterly commanding, utterly decorative football as it was intended to be played. So, obviously, you're uh, born in Italy. To Brazilian parents, play mm -hmm. for play for Spain. Tell me about kind of your, you know, your upbringing. Obviously, your dad being a being a professional football player, your brother playing. How did that? Uh, were you guys always a, a huge football family? Whew. Yeah, I think before talking about the country, you have to talk about how you raise up. So how I raised up. At the end, I had a father that he was a football player, professional one. I was a mother that she was. Um, volleyball professional player. So there is this competition at home that it's uh, natural yeah. that even in school or any other tasks that we do, we, we want to compete or be the best, but in the healthy way, just to have this kind of things that sport has, like the competition, the respect, everything we, we had at home that. And if we add that, my brother is less than two years difference with me. So, well, we did everything together. We play sports together, we nearly everything. So yeah, and then as you're growing up, wanting to play football, the sports, you say, okay, I'm going to Brazil, and you have the futsal there. Loads of technique, uh, quick thoughts. You have to do everything faster in futsal, and then you go to Spain, and it's more the, the technique, but in, in, in long ranges with sense, with the passes. So was a... A big mix between countries, for sure, from Italy. I just born because my dad was playing there. So, yeah, it's kind of a big mix between what you learn home and what you learn in the country or the places you live. Was that always kind of the dream, you know, to maybe play football? Yeah, for sure. I think as you, as you had in your mind, you don't have anything else than football. Like, I, I, it's not I wanted to be a football player. I will be a football player. Yeah. The thing is when, yeah. when it will happen because you are at the school, you think about foot, you think about the break to, to play football. When you play football, you enjoy and to, you are aiming to, or, or you are waiting for the next day to play against. Um, how much of your game and your talent do you think is kind of, is, is kind of unique to you? Well, it's, uh, I never copy the, how I have to behave or, or things that I do on the pitch. For sure, you, you copy how you have to be, uh, how you have to uh, is is the right space? Let me see how the play, how this player behave in the pitch, in the space that he has to be. Yeah. And then for sure, when you are 14, 12, 14, 16, you see the skills, and I love to do the, uh, in that time the the skill thing. So it was Ronaldinho in that time it was loads of great players that you want to imitate what they're doing with the ball, but then to transform that on the pitch is very difficult. You have to train that, you have to repeat that. But I think it's it's the things that I like to do on the pitch, for sure you can take something from somewhere, from someone, but you do your way. That's uh, natural. When I, when I watch you play, I feel like you have a very unique sense of space. You know, for me, I was, very, I was quite a explosive and a good athlete, so I use my physical traits. When I watch you, I feel like one of the hardest things for any midfield player is to kind of be in, in, in between the lines, mm -hmm. in the space. It feels like you look I think that was the hardest thing as, as a centre. You make it look very easy, you know, that, that, you're, that you're comfortable. Is that, did you work on that, did, you know, or is that something you were taught? Or how did you, how did you get so comfortable kind of being in and among? Because it's chaos sometimes in a, in a game, isn't it? You know, yeah. the high speed, but you look, so, you look so comfortable. I think everything in life is about practice and getting experience with, uh, with the area that you want to be better. So at the end you start to play as a midfield, so you have to be in that space. Uh, for sure, I don't have this physicality, I don't have uh, this kind of feeling that, okay, I saw the space there, so I will run like uh, more than three, uh, 30 kilometers per hour there, because well, it's not my point, so I have to be strong in, in, in the things that I think I'm strong, so it's one of that. And if you get used to playing that position, you just feel comfortable, be surrounded. 
because it means that if it's one player, okay, I, I, I can dribble him. If it's more than one player, you say, okay, there is someone that's free. So you feel comfortable with that. At the end, I, I, I love to dribble someone, but I, I, I'm aware if there's two or three players with me, it means there's another two players free in the game. So I feel comfortable with that. Were you always, were you always a, you know, a number 10 as a young kid? Yeah. Always, yeah? Always, always, always. So uh, when, did you, when did you start to kind of maybe start to play a little bit deeper? I think mainly because of uh, the, way that, uh, the way that the team played. So when you play a 4-3-3, a you don't have a 10. Uh, the, the image of a 10 player, the yeah. Brazilian, Argentina player that play in that position. It's almost going in a way, that, that position, isn't it? Yeah, because at the end, they are, not, they are the biggest technique in the world, but not the biggest phys uh, physical. So you have a player that plays the game, runs the game, dictates the game, but then football is going to somewhere very, somewhere, somewhere very physical. So this, to reunite these two things, it's very difficult. I played a whole life in Barcelona 4-3-3, then I buy it as well 4-3-3. And also here, so you have to adapt. And when you see a gap, okay, maybe I'm very young. I couldn't play as a ten because there are other players there. So I have to figure out where can I play. So just I think it's a uh, you adapt with the situation. All right, we're going to break down some of your clips. You're going to have to take the ball. Thank you. I'm going to take this, so we can see and just watch. Just kind of you kind of. At your game, okay. so is your first thought always forward when you when turn over possession? Always play forward, or is it just to play the right pass the best, in the right moment? The best thing is to go forward because yeah. of, you, because you are doing like a transition because if, be, between defending and attacking. But for sure, you have to give uh, proper balls uh, forward to uh, have this continuity of the game. Let's look at a couple more. It's, I mean, this, gonna... this that pass is crazy. It's not, it's not, there's not even any space. There's not any space to even get it in there. Yeah, you know? because it depends how they play. Maybe if they play three in the, in the midfield, it's, it's more difficult because they close uh, the gaps better. But they, when they play with four, sometimes the wingers are not so, they don't have this kind of uh, defending behavior to say, okay, the ball went there, so I have to, to the other side, so I have to close my side. Sometimes they don't do that and, and you have to, understand and know which player to say to think okay he was really a worker or he's not and you have to think before the game is this one of your favorite passes because there's a little there's a little no look on this one as well which which is remarkable I don't know how anybody hits a no look at that that far I mean is that is that one of your, your well, favorites the no look? more than more than a look is, is getting power at the end you're looking the ball because the first control was not good because the ball was bouncing and at the end you have to look the ball to 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 see when the ball is closer to the floor to make a uh, a proper pass. So just because of that, it was not more than a no looking. You don't want to look to the guy that you want to pass the ball. Yeah, that's same. Yeah. I mean, this is another one here that that kind of. I mean, these are all you know. They're all really difficult passes, aren't they? Obviously, obviously, with the outside of the right foot, that is. It's just always, it's always perfect. It seems like. Yeah, sometimes it will be better with the left foot than the. <laughs> it will be better with the left foot. If I have a better left foot, I would do with the left foot definitely because it's a natural thing. And the, I think the best, the best and the the best thing in football and is to do as best as you can the simple things. Yeah. So if I can do with the with the left foot that pass, I would do definitely with the left pass. But at the end, I feel more comfortable doing with the right one. Do you play certain passes depending, obviously, on on, on who you're playing with? For sure. Yeah. For sure, that's why the adaptation to, um, always takes time because it's not just how, uh, the game is in training, how they move, how they want the ball, how they act or react with the ball. So you have to get to know them. And I think it's a big aspect and they have to know you to say, to say okay, he's able to give me the, this pass, even the ball is between his legs. So it's important. Let's look at it, let's look at some more. I mean, that is such a, such a difficult pass, obviously with the outside of the right. Do you, like there, that one between the lines is such an important pass in the, I think in the top game, you know, obviously with, if you can break lines there and break their midfield, you, you get in a, in a fantastic attacking position, don't mm -hmm. you, for, for, for your players. I, can uh, Talk me through that pass. Obviously, everybody thinks you're looking there. I'd say, I think that's Trent. You know, that one, 
When do you decide to make that? Because at the end, you break lines faster. You are giving a better position to your team faster than dribble the ball, driving the ball, giving a pass uh, to our fullback, and then uh, restarting the, the attack. So you just have to uh, think about how you can uh, have this uh, uh, fast thing to your team to attack better. But also, it's about the movement of the guy, of the of the rival. So if the other player is moving somewhere, you feel that he's bored in the left side, so the ball will go to the right side. It's the feeling of the game. You have to have this feeling. When I when I watch you play, and I think one of the most important things Paul Scholes was to say, he looked like he always had time. He always had time on the pole. The top players have time. Xavi and Yester, yourself. I think a lot of young kids understand a lot of that comes from actually just checking your shoulder, doesn't it? You mm -hmm. know, yeah. being aware of kind of what's around it. Yes, it's important for midfield players to create, first of all, create your space, the space that you want to, to receive the ball. I think that's the first, uh, the first thought. Then the second thought is, OK, I will be some meters, but maybe one, two, doesn't matter, five meters from the place that I want to receive the ball. And while you are going there and you know you're your teammate will give you the ball. You have to make some looks to know where the guys are from the other team and from your team. And to also, it's, not, it's also important to not just look, but how your body is. Yeah. Because if you receive the ball here, the game is here. So where is the biggest space? The biggest space is here. So we have to put your body in some way, perflate your body in some way to have the bigger picture. I mean, these are some of my favorites of you. This is what I think you do almost better than anyone in the world, just receiving that obviously little glance there. You know he's coming. And that kind of that seems like one of your one of your best ones. Yeah, because it, it will depend. I, I already put my body to the favor of the game, but then Joey gave me the pass on my right side instead of my left. So instead of receiving the ball and going here, knowing that I have one, two, and one, and the third coming back, he gave me the ball here. So I wanted the ball here in this in this foot, but yeah. he gave me here because was my space here. Because was the space here? I am here and I have three players, so someone is free. So if I orientate here and I look at the game, it would be better for me. There's always kind of a, a, a mini plan, I guess, yeah. on, on you every always have to, you, have, you always have to think faster, because as, as I said at the beginning, running is not my thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a guy to, who can run like uh, 50, 50 yards and, and feel comfortable with. I can, for sure. But my thing is to make the team play slower, faster when we have to. And knowing that there are the guys will be better in other the other tasks that I that I am, so it's knowing that and being intelligent. Of, okay, what how I am surrounded, how I have to think. If now I have to th think faster, I have to just relax. It's the interpretation of the game with my skills. Do you watch? Do you watch the opposition? As I say, if you can uh, do your homework, it's, it's like you, if you go to an exam, you have to study for the exam. Yeah. So it's the same in football. You you have to study or you have to practice how you do the things, but you have to, to know how they do the things. Yeah. So between what, what we do with, with our coach staff in training and how you want the things, you have to, there's mix to be prepared for that exam. And if, if we can have an exam every three days, much, much better. If you can play Premier League, Champions League games, Cup games, so you have to be prepared. I mean, this is one, I like this one. This, this feels like that one there. When you get people when you get people in this situation, what are you thinking? Say I'm the defender. Because you, sometimes you do that one and you go left, but then sometimes you go right. Do you base it on, are you looking at the defender's feet? Are you looking at their body? No, or is it just pure I, As I say, it's, space, it's about space. It's about the space that you want to, you generate the space before, and then there's some times that you say, okay, I just received the ball. Do you generate the space off me, or do you make your mind up where? I, first of all, I generate the space where I, ha where I have to have the ball. Yeah. And then the, the pressure can come in somewhere that is another space is generated. So it's, a, it's all about space. Football is about 2v1 and spaces. So if, if it's not a, two, a possible 2v1, it's one against one, and you, have the, and you have more chance to win that because you have the ball and you are facing the space that you want. The other one is just coming to mark you and in a short space, you have a bigger picture of that. So if it's coming, if I see that it's a bigger one here, a bigger one, I would try to go to the bigger space, but then it will depend how he moves as well. Because I want to go here, but I know he was, okay, you will go there. So I have to fake and go to the other way. So it's, it's about 
microseconds that you have to react in that sometimes. When you say football's about two ones, do you mean so you're always looking for, for teammates to kind of do little one twos I, around? As I said, if if you are if it's one v one, you have to have the capacity to dribble, yeah, to overtake that dif that defense. But if it's coming two or three players against you, there's someone someone will be free, and it's about that. It's yeah. about cre generating or creating some space in one side to go to the other side. Or, or it's about that. It's about it's about to be very tight or very or very wide in football. I love that one. But if you see if you see how he moves at the end, I want to go here. I want to go. My space is here. But ah, you think, he, he took it away from you. Basically. Yeah, yeah. But but you you see his movement is more okay. I'm giving you this because I want that you go here. And when you do the first move to go there, you see that he wants that, and you go. It's about reaction. Yeah. And sometimes in football, you ha you had in your in your time. Like a thousand times as well, it's about the flow of the game. Yeah. When you are into the game, when you are leaving the game, you just react on the game. Yeah. You, you couldn't think that much. No. In football, you so couldn't think that much. It's all instinct, yeah. It's very, yeah. And the best players in the world, we, did, we don't have, you didn't have, I don't have this. It's about the instinct of scoring 40 goals a season. Yeah. Wow. And I say to Darwin, Darwin, you know how I feel in my life to shoot the ball. 30 minutes, in, 30 meters in front, and say, I will, I will win this okay, run. Yeah. I will win this run. Yeah. I feel jealous sometimes yeah. for that, for sure. But then you just leave the flow. The flow it means how you how you react with all the things you know, in in your natural way, in the natural way. Because at the end, football is is about. Well, I want to be better than you. Yeah. I will do whatever whatever it takes for sure, with the respect and everything. But then. This knowledge, uh, the thing that we are talking about is in code. Yeah. It's as a coach can say to us. But then there is this instinct, this flow thing that, and th this joy in the game that you will have. Always my father said, football is uh, a joy with, with uh, responsibility. Yeah. It's about that. It's a good way of saying it. So this is a kind of, as I say, habits that you have to have. But when it's football coming, you, you react, you know. It's funny that the, the guys, want the talent that they actually don't have. You know, like the skill guys want the speed and the, you know, the speed guys want the skill. You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah. like you think like, you, you know, you want it's, it to spread. It's life, yeah. it's life. We, we, sometimes we want what we, we don't have, so. But we, we are very thankful with the things we already have, what brought us here as well, who reached us in the level that we are playing now. And the thing is just getting better in the things that you are, you are good and even better in the things that you are not so good. I know that I will, I will never reach a peak of, of 40 kilometers per hour, but, but if I can, can go faster, at least one, I will try to do that. Yeah. If I can shoot stronger, I will do that. Even if I'm 35 or I was uh, 22, I want to learn that because it's, it's life is like that. It's I one. love that one. That, I mean, that one is like, that one is super special because if I was playing, and I had you there, I would 100% think, oh, I got you. Yeah. And you and you know that, don't you? You're, you're like, you set me up, basically. Yeah, yeah. I remember Clarence Sadoff did that to me once in the Champions League <laughs> game. And I remember he was about there, and he had his, he had his back to me, received the ball. And I he thought, has a back like this as yeah. well, yeah? And I thought, oh, he's in trouble, he's going nowhere. And I, and I sprinted in, and I went to go get the ball, and he went like this, and then he did that exact trick that way, and I swear I must have went 10 meters that way. <laughs> And after the game, I went up to him and I shook his hand. I said, I just want to say thank you for the, for the lesson. And that is exactly that move that you did there. How did you learn that? How did, how did you learn that? No, as as we, we try to incorporate things in our life in football, uh, it's one of the things that uh, I saw when I was young and you just keep like doing trainings, games, and in some point you just say, okay, I'm really good doing that. It's one of the, the tools that we use if I am in, in an awkward situation, yeah. and to dribble, why not? I will give him some, the team, the, out my team, a bit more chance to progress with the ball. So, and it's not just one one thing. I think you have to have more things to to give a balance to your game. Returned by Salah, Thiago. Sometimes you think, wow, I just did that. So in some points, you, you don't really, uh, in the moment of the game, you don't recognize the actions that you're doing. You just do it. Yeah. And suddenly it came that, you say, wow, I did that. 
and you feel proud of it because, okay, it means, it not means that it was a beautiful action and I scored a goal, it means that you are in the game. And one of the things that lacks between the young guys that start in football and the more experienced players about being in the game, yeah. be focused on the game. Yeah. And focus means in the action you are doing the natural things without having the knowledge, okay, I did that. Yeah. I just did. Yeah. And, and it's, it was successful because at the end I, I can, I can make a fake after the shot and the left was deflected and I got luck with, luck with that. So. Yeah. I mean, how nice is that when you, when you practice something in training and then, you, then, you, then it comes off, you know, in a game where you're able to do it in a game and then you can obviously score, score a never, fantastic score like that. It never comes a situation in training exactly what is in the game. No. It comes maybe the dribble, it comes a shot, it comes a shoot, but it never, the whole action is never the same in training or it's never the same as before in a game, in another game. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do a, a no-look switch. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Only Scholes, Paul Scholes can do that. You and Paul Scholes. He was really good. He was amazing. He was really good. I love how he and Xavi, they switch the ball. They, they, they were amazing. So for you, when you're, would you say that's a big thing? If you, if you receive it kind of here, you're always looking to get to the other side, you know, get it, get it to more yeah, Is that kind of... It's, it's a space. It's yeah. not about just the player. It's a space that you have. Where the team will progress better is that one. Yeah. Sometimes you are cooking the game here and to, to the final product is there. You have, and football is about cheating. Cheating the way that the ball is here, the ball is here, knowing that it will end up there. Yeah. I think that's the main, the main thing of the football too. Uh, make, the, make the other team think what you wanna, what you wanna make them think, you know? Yeah. And, and the end of product, at the end you wanna score. So if it's better that I'm here and there to finish, why not? When I when I watch you play, it looks like it always looks like you're having fun. You know, always look obviously you got some little skills and obviously little step overs. For me it's not fun itself. Fun I have with my children, fun yeah. I have it's about it's about joy of the of the it was a, a massive game, important here in England, in the world and and it's about the joy and the self confidence of the team, how we, we are with the ball, how we are with without the ball, how the other team behave how we make them feel as well. So it's about this, as I told you, this domination thing that you wanna, you wanna have in football and in a team like Liverpool, that you wanna dominate the game more than anyone else. Be more phys physical, be more technical, all the kind of aspects in football be better than, than the other. It seems like your, a lot of your skills and tricks, they're still very functional. You know, you see a lot of kids now, they do skills like on YouTube, my kids love YouTube and they're watching yeah. all these skills, but actually they're not practical in a, in a game setting, yeah. are they? Whereas all your skills are quite, they're very functional skills, aren't they? You know? Yeah, it's, it's what, do you, what do you try to, to incorporate to your game. One thing is, okay, how can you use the skill? Uh, I think it's more the skills that they show us in those days is to get out of some weird situation, situation yeah. exactly. Not to make them every minute that you have the ball. It's just about, okay, now I'm in a situation, I don't know where to go, I do this because I, I have to go out from here. Is there any, anything you would kind of advise or to teach a young kid coming through who wants to be a, a midfield player, maybe on anything they can, they can work on or anything or, you know, as a, as a midfield player? Because I think a lot of guys can look to you and say, there's so much about your game that, that you can learn from. No, as I say, in general, you have to try to control the things that you are going to control and just to let go of the things that you cannot control. And makes you more focused on the game, makes you more focused on your team as well. And then to practice. At the end, things in life is create habits. You have to create the, 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 good, ones, the good ones and the ones that you want to have. And it's about that. Uh, each of us in, in football, in life, we have our own skills and you just have to make them stronger and to make better your, your weakness. Well, I just want to say thank you. You know, thank you for uh, the masterclass. I mean, it's, um, honestly, if I could pick a player that I could have played like, I swear it would be you. No, uh, no but I, swear, I had my skill sets were I could I used to stop the you know these guys, but I always wanted to I always wanted to like play that way. But I had my skill set like you, so I just want to say big thank you for taking that time, uh, and, and I really enjoyed it. it. Was a big pleasure.
Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.